Print on demand is a business model that's very similar to dropshipping, except it has a few key differences. Primarily, you're able to brand your own products pretty effortlessly. Not just that, but you're also able to add an entire catalog of products to your existing dropshipping store that literally nobody else is gonna have. And today we're gonna be covering exactly how you can do this and how you can start incorporating your print on demand business to your dropshipping business. So that way you can really start scaling your business more effortlessly and start standing out above the rest and getting more sales. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So let's assume that you're just getting started dropshipping or you simply just wanna try out a new niche and see if it works out for you. Let's say you're interested in the pets niche or let's say the electronics niche and you're thinking that you might do very well in these niches but you haven't started or you haven't created this new store because one it just takes way too long to start up a store two the product research also takes a long time and three you don't know whether or not it's actually going to work so you don't really want to invest the time you don't want to invest maybe one or two weeks into just getting your store set up so the first thing that we want to do here is think about a way that we can streamline this entire process and get started drop shipping or with our print on demand store or just overall our e-commerce store within a few minutes. This is gonna be the most efficient way to get started because it's gonna allow you to test out multiple niches in just a short amount of time. And the way to do this is gonna be by using pre-built Shopify AI stores. Now, there's a lot of different tools out there to get this done, but hands down, the quickest and most efficient way is gonna be through using AutoDS. Now, right now we're over at our AutoDS dashboard, which if you wanna try out the AutoDS pre-built Shopify stores and get started dropshipping again in less than two minutes, then make sure you sign up right now because you can take advantage of the special promotion of two weeks for just $1. And if you don't check that out, it's gonna be up here. Now, in order to get started building our Shopify store, what we're gonna to have to do is go up here to where it says my store. In my case, I already have a store set up. So I'm gonna click on the store and then I'm gonna click down here, add store. Then I'm gonna to go to the Shopify store build with AI. So let's go ahead and click on continue and let's choose the middle option. This is gonna be our Shopify pre-built AI stores. Let's go ahead and click on continue and now select the niche. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you wanna test out a brand new niche or you wanna get started in the e-commerce business. So to do this, my suggestion is always gonna to be to start off with a niche that you know something about. I know a lot about pets because I have a cat and a dog and I know what products are popular amongst them or amongst dog or cat owners. Now, on the other hand, I'm also pretty familiar with electronics. So I know good electronics when I see them. I know what's efficient and what people are looking for and what's trending. So let's try that out. Let's go ahead and go with the electronics and gadgets niche because I already have tons of different pet stores. So I'm gonna try out a brand new niche. So let's go ahead and click on next. And then AI is gonna to start to build our store for us. Now, this is literally gonna take less than a minute. As you can see, while I was talking, the entire store was already created. So here we have our email and we have our password. So let's go ahead and open up the Shopify store. So once we're on this page, all we're gonna do is just run back over to our AutoDS dashboard and copy over the email and the password as well. And then once we log in, what we're gonna have to do is select our Shopify store plan. Now, I suggest that you skip this just for now because you are gonna have three days to get started. So get started in these three days, build your Shopify store, do a little bit of research, and then once these three days are up, then you can sign up for your dollar trial. The dollar trial sometimes is gonna be for one month, sometimes it's gonna be for three months. It's really all gonna be dependent on what current promotion Shopify has. But again, Wait the three days, take advantage of these three free days, and then start off your plan. Now, before we continue any further, as always, I'm gonna have an easy to reference cheat sheet with everything that I'm covering in this video. To gain access to that, just drop a comment with the hashtag POD dropshipping, and let me know your takeaway from this video. When I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with the link to the sheet. Now, if we wanna see what our store looks like, it's completely built and ready for us, already including winning dropshipping products. So let's go ahead and check that out. Let's run over to our online store and then click on view your online store. And then this is gonna be our cloud electronics store. So here we have the cutting edge lifestyle. We already have a few banners that are already added. And of course, like I mentioned, our winning products. Now, if we scroll down, we have a couple of generic testimonials and my favorite part, the footer. Now that might sound pretty weird, but the reason this is my favorite part is because this already has our policies written out for us. Our policies are those things that are just gonna take us forever to get done by ourselves. So the fact that they're already included, it, it's a huge time saver. Now it is very important to go through some of these different pages, like let's say the shipping policy and the return policy, and just make sure that everything is accurate. So you are gonna have to change a couple of things, like let's say your email, your phone number, your address, and maybe your shipping and handling times. But once you have that done, then you're essentially gonna have a Shopify store that's ready to go live. Now, let's just look through some of these really fast, like let's say the new arrivals, and let's see what's already included. 
So these are all different products in the electronics niche that are currently trending and there's actual demand for. People are looking for these products right now. All of these products come from the AutoDS handpicked product section. So if you wanna find more trending products, then you could just check that out by simply running over back to the AutoDS marketplace and then clicking under the marketplace and then handpicked products. All of the products that you saw included are gonna be in here and you're gonna find tons more. And of course you can filter everything based on your niche. Now, as you can see currently, all we really have here is our dropshipping products, which is perfectly fine. We can start a store like this, but if you really wanna start scaling your business and start offering products that pretty much nobody else is offering, then you wanna start implementing prints on demand into your business. And that's gonna really start growing your business and your product offerings. So to do this, all we're gonna do is run back over to AutoDS, to our dashboard, and then we're gonna click on print on demand. Now here you can see all of the different products that we can customize that you can start adding to your store. There's gonna be a lot of apparel, but you're also gonna have a lot of other products like different types of accessories. And if you're in the electronics niche, then you're also gonna have a few that you can offer on there as well. For example, mugs. Now you might be thinking, how does a mug fit into the electronics niche? Well, simple. You can create designs for mugs that target people that are in the IT industry or people that are very into computers, people that work in the industry. Back when I used to work the typical office job, I worked in IT, that was my industry. And the first thing that I did when I got into the office was grab a cup of coffee. And one thing that I always had with me was my mug, the one that I use, the one that I like. So this product is something that can really be geared towards really any niche. So that's why I'm including it in the electronics niche. But if you scroll down just a little bit, you're also gonna have phone cases. Phone cases are the perfect accessory for the electronics niche. Who doesn't need a phone case? Nobody walks around with a bare phone. And if you do, then I'm sorry, you're, you're psycho. Those phones are way too expensive to just be out there naked like that. But besides that, keep scrolling. You also have other accessories that you can start selling, like let's say stickers. You also have different types of portraits. So you have metal portraits, for example, or you also have framed posters. You have ornaments for the holidays. And all of these different products, even though they're not directly in the electronics niche, they can be adapted to the electronics niche. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that in just a second. Also, if you don't know how to design, that's something that I'm gonna show you as well. It's all gonna be incorporated into this one app that I'm gonna show you that's very, very helpful. So make sure you keep watching. Now, just a few more things I wanna show you in terms of the different products that we can offer. We also have some things like, let's say this custom shaped mat, which is pretty cool. You can make this into the shape of, let's say a computer. And then scrolling down, you also have things like baby onesies. Baby onesies would be perfect for, let's say somebody who works in IT that's about to have a child. So again, there's a lot of different products in the print on demand industry that aren't necessarily specific for a niche, but they can be adapted to any niche. So let's find out how we can do that now. Now to help you adapt your products to whatever niche that you're gonna be selling in, I suggest using a design website. Some of the best ones are gonna be Canva, but also Kittle. Now I personally use Kittle all the time specifically because they have a really good text to image generator. So their AI is pretty advanced for print on demand. That's really what they do. They help you out with designs for your print on demand business. Now on this page, what we're gonna do is simply look through some of these different designs. And if we like anything, we can use the templates, but we can also go to their AI image generator, which again, it's the main highlight for me. This is what I use all the time. So once we click into the image generator or into our design templates, all we have to do is go ahead and click on Kittle AI and then go to image generator. And now we can start thinking about something within our niche that we can start offering. So I wanna come up with a design that can be on mugs. It can also be on the mat that I showed you and it can even be on a poster. So like this, we can even offer a set of three different products. So that way we can increase our average order value. Instead of somebody just purchasing our mug, they can be purchasing our entire set to decorate the entire office. Now, of course, I am using the IT example right now, but again, you can implement this to pretty much any niche or anything within the electronics and technology sub-niches. Now, I'm thinking when I used to work in IT, I used to get frustrated with all of the dumb questions that I would get. So let's see if we can incorporate that into a design. So for this, I'm simply gonna tell Kittle to create a frustrated IT help desk technician behind a computer typing, looking mad while being on the phone. This is coming from personal experience. So from here, the next thing we need to do is select an image style. If we go to the regular image styles that are up here, we're gonna have a big block image, which for print on demand, I don't like because the design just comes out as a big square, whether that be on a t-shirt, on a mat or whatever it is. I like to do clip art styles. So let's move on over here and do the cartoon clip art style. 
and then let's generate the image. All right, so this is what Kato came up with. And to be completely honest with you, this is perfect. I think this looks absolutely amazing. This looks great. Everything looks pretty good. He has one, two, three, four fingers, which is really good. We all know that back in the day, AI had some issues with fingers, but overall, amazing job. This is perfect for our first product. So here what I'd like to do is just go ahead and make it as big as possible and then go to download and always make sure that the resolution is at a minimum of 300. And as far as your width and your height, I like to stick to about 15 inches at a minimum, just because anything smaller than that, it'll just be really bad quality. And same thing for the resolution, 300, anything less than 300, most services like AutoDS or anything else that there is, they're not gonna accept it because the print quality is not gonna come out great. It's gonna be blurry and it's gonna be pixelated. So make sure you always keep that in mind. And just as an added tip, when it comes to actually exporting these images in high quality, you are gonna have to have the pro subscription, whether that be for Kittle, whether that be for Canva or any other image generator that you use, more than likely you're always gonna have to have the pro subscription or the paid subscription to download the high resolution files. Now, before I do go ahead and do that though, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and I'm going to remove the background. I'm also gonna take the background off of the actual artboard, which is really just the big square that we have in the back. So I'm gonna decrease that opacity. And as you can see, the only thing that we have now is our little IT character. So now we can go ahead and download it. And once we have that ready, we can run back over to our AutoDS dashboard and we can select one of the different products. So for this, I'm gonna show you two different products that you can offer that again, will be relevant to the technology niche in particular, the IT sub niche. So for this, the first thing that we said was gonna be our mugs. So we can go ahead with this mug right here, just a pretty generic mug. Now the inside color, we can change this to whatever we want. I like black. So let's go ahead and click on edit product. And now we can go ahead and add our image. And you can either put it on the left-hand side or the right-hand side for the mug. It's really gonna be dependent on where you want it to be. So as you can see down here, it has the little mug handle on the right or in the dead center if you have it over here. I'm just gonna keep it over here where it was by default. And if you do wanna add any other colors, we can go ahead and click over here, add the black, the blue, and the pink. And now to see what it looks like, we can go ahead and click on preview. And there we have it, the perfect mug for anybody that works in IT. So on the left-hand side, it will be towards the inside. On the right-hand side, it'll be towards the outside. So if we're happy with how this looks, if this is what we ultimately want to end up giving our customers, which personally, I think this looks great. The only thing we might've been able to add is probably just a little bit of text to make it funny, but we can always do that later. We can go ahead and exit that out and click on save. And now this product is gonna be added to our draft section where we can revisit it later before having it go live on our store and make any necessary edits, which I'll show you in a second. But for now, let's go ahead and check out that mat that I told you about. So here we have the mat loaded up and all we have to do is the exact same thing. So we can go ahead and click on edit product, upload our image, and then click on preview to see what it looks like. And then there we have the rug that would be in our IT room. I think that this is actually really cool because this would add a nice little unique flair to anybody's room, to anybody's IT room or any company's IT room. And if I learned something when I was working in the industry is that the IT department's pretty much the coolest department that there is, especially if you have people like me working there. So something like this would really, in my opinion, fit in very, very well. Of course, it would depend on the company, but it could fit in very well with just the overall look and feel of the office. And again, being able to offer this with a few different products with the same design, it allows you to start offering bundles with different products. So you can do the mat, a mug, and a t-shirt, or the mat, a mug, and a poster, or even offer this as different Christmas ornaments during the holidays for the people that work in that industry. There's tons of different applications that you have when it comes to print on demand, and really the options are endless. Print on demand can be applied to any niche that you can think of in pretty much any way, shape, or form. Now, once we're happy with this design, we can go ahead and save it as well. And then let's run over to the draft section so we can see the first product that we had uploaded. So here we have our accent mug. Let's go ahead and click into it. And now we have the product draft where we can optimize everything that we need in terms of the listing. So here in the title, we can go ahead and add any keywords that are specific to our product. So here we have the IT tech support mug for 11 ounces. Then if we wanna add it to any collections on our Shopify store, we can add that here as well. We can also change the shipping method if there's any different ones to choose from. And then we can also click into the description where we can edit the description on here as well. And one thing that I didn't mention is that both the title and the description, they can be optimized with AI directly from these screens. So that way you don't even have to waste time thinking about different names to come up with for your products. Then you have your variance tab, where we can change our pricing. Now this is my favorite part because this takes the guesswork out of pricing entirely. So here we can see that our current profit is $1.40. Of course, that's a little bit low. So let's see how we can increase this. So our fees are currently set to 3%. Let's say that our fees are actually 5%. Let's say it's a little bit more. And we wanna make a profit of 
Currently we're selling it for 726. So let's say we wanna sell it for about $15 we can actually go ahead and change this here. So let's sell this mug for $15. We can see that our profit percentage jumped up now to 159%. So this is a pretty good profit margin. And a mug for $15, that's about average pricing. So this right here would be what I would go with. Now, here we can see that our total profit is $8.75. But my favorite part, like I mentioned earlier, this is gonna take the guesswork out of your pricing because this right here, this is actually how much you're gonna take home, $8.75 per sale. These 5% in fees, that's already being deducted from your total profit. So you know exactly how much you're gonna be getting per sale each and every time. Now, if we're happy with this, we can go ahead and click on save, or we can exit out, choose everything at once, and then change the selling price to $15. Now, besides that, you also have your images tab where you have all of the different product images. You can add, delete, or even edit some of them because we have a built-in image editor. And once you're happy with your product and you're ready for it to go live in your store, just click on save and import. Now we can run back over to our cloud store and then refresh our new arrivals page. And if we scroll down, we're gonna see our IT tech support mug. Now I didn't update the pricing, I didn't click on save, so it is still at the default pricing. But as you can see, the product is ready on our store and people can make the purchase. So as you just saw, you can adapt the print on demand business model to pretty much any niche that you can think of. You can even combine it seamlessly with drop shipping because honestly, like you just saw, they're both pretty much the same thing. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Have you tried print on demand? Have you mixed both business models together? What are your results? I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to hear your results. Let me know down in the comments. Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet, just drop a comment with the hashtag POD dropshipping. And let me know your takeaway from this video. Here's thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. My name is Mario with AutoDS, and I'll catch you all next time.